today. So today I'm going to talk about two high-end splitting axes slash mauls. I've had the Grantsfords for about six months now and the Oxenkopf for a year now so I've gotten to know pretty much how good they are in different woods and for different things and how they work and some of the advantages and disadvantages with both. Both are similar weights at two and a half kilos or five and a half pound head weight. Both of 80 centimeter handles. Here I'm splitting a bit of ash, quite a large round, a little bit drier. On uh, very dry woods, I found that the Gransfors has a thinner profile which bites a little bit more. But uh, there's not a huge difference between performance and in ash, at least. In particular, beach is where I found the Gransfors greatly outperforms the Oxencop. Just that little bit thinner edge um, makes beach split better. Beach is quite brittle and uh, dense. But once you get a little bit of edge into it, it, it pops, whereas getting that edge in is the hard part. So fatter axes tend to do worse on beach compared to uh, thinner axes. So as you can see, the Oxenkopf, just a fraction more bouncy, but um, once it is into the wood, it, it, it does pop the wood a bit quicker. It's also less sticky. The major difference between these two um, is the handles. The Oxenkopf has a more traditional handle with a decent palm swell, whereas the Gransfors has a very straight handle with almost no palm swell. I think the handle on the Gransfors is where it really falls short. Um, when you're working in wet weather, it's just that less grip and uh, you can feel it trying to pull out your hands more. So I'm not a fan of the Gransfors handle. Um, I think the, this is where the Oxenkopf has a big advantage. For splitting up small pieces of wood, these are both too heavy and, and large, really for I mean, as obviously you can do it, but it's when you've broken the wood down to this size, I prefer a lighter axe. And uh, with breaking up small wood, there's no real difference. You can see here the profile of the Gransfors is wedge shaped but it's concave and quite thin at the edge, um, a lot thinner than most splitting axes and walls. Whereas the Oxenkopf increases in thickness much faster and has a smoother transition. I find the Oxenkopf in general uh, sticks less and uh, splits better in most woods. The trouble with the Gransfors is to get to the thicker part of the head you have to bury the edge in further and often that just creates sticking problems. I think when the Gransfors has a few, like maybe even a decade's worth of wear on it and sharpening, um, it, when it wears back to a thicker profile it will work a lot better. Now onto some softwood. This is cedar, incredibly easy to split. I've heard a lot of people who split a lot of cedar say they don't bother using a splitting maul and it's pretty obvious why. Um, there's no need for a maul when splitting cedar. I mean, a three or four pound felling axe will do it easily. All softwood isn't like this though, but um, it's all I had to hand. In general, I found that the Oxenkopf splits softwood a lot better than the Gransfors. Gransfors is just a little bit too thin at the edge, and that uh, means that in order to start splitting, you have to bury the head more. So, if you split a lot of softwood, the Oxenkopf 
is definitely the way to go. You can see on a lot of these pieces I'm having to put basically no effort at all and to split them with either axe. Cedar is just like that. But definitely an uh, advantage to the Oxenkopf and in most cases I found I could split the round in one hit whereas the Grantsvers more often than not took two. I would have liked to have had some Douglas fir or some spruce or stuff with more knots in it um, to really demonstrate the difference but uh, you know you can take my word for it that the oxen coffer is definitely a better softwood splitting axe. Now on the smoke, this stuff is fairly knotty. I mean there's a few straight pieces here and there but most of it is really really knotty. I found that uh, the Oxenkopf works better in knotty oak. Um, it follows the twists in the grain better, whereas the Grantsvers tries to dig in and cut the fibres. Um, the longer head tries and digs in too much and just ends up getting stuck. Not fun wood to split with either though, it's not as easy as that cedar. see here sometimes a sticking problem can be quite severe. It just slows you down and over the course of a day that's a lot of wasted time. Similarly though if you're splitting a lot of beach for instance um, an axe that just bounces off the wood isn't good either. You can see a bit straight bit of oak and that splits almost as easy as the cedar. very hard to do a direct comparison um, about knotty wood because they vary so much between rounds but my general experience is in knotty oak the spout fix is more effective.
there are some bits of wood that neither axle or more will handle. I mean, really any axle or more will split something like this. You can hit this all day if you want and not really get anywhere. Some really nice straight ash when it's green can split really easy and for breaking up billets like I'm doing here to feed into the processor the spout fix has a massive advantage. The spout fix is far superior for doing this kind of work. Here I'm using a different mall. This is another Oxencock one that I'd like to use to drive wedges. It's got a hardened pole whereas the spout fix doesn't. While I use the spout fix more often I do use this axe a lot too. You can see here the difference in size between the pole on this Oxencock versus the Grandsfizz. Well, the Grandsfizz can be used for driving wedges and is designed to. I find that it's a sm too small pole to be effective than most and it damages your wedges a lot more. It's just a little bit too light as well to have the authority to drive a wedge at 2.5 kilos. really want like 3 kilos. I do use the spout fix regularly for driving aluminium wedges too and even though you're not supposed to, I haven't had any problems with damage. So while the Grand's is designed to be a maul, um, I don't really rate it very highly as a, as a maul. I prefer to see it like a just a large splitting axe with a with a hardened pole when you occasionally need to use it, but if I'm doing a lot of wedge driving, I always pick up this Oxenkopf. Between that and the spout fix, they have very different profiles, so they might make a nice pair. So that's pretty much my conclusions on them both. Both are good tools, but I have to say the spout fix tends to work better on most woods and is significantly cheaper. You can find it for half the price of the Grandsfers, or even a third if you get the one with the ash handle um, without the rock band plus. You can also get it from steel, it's exactly the same axe for significantly less.